啦啦。Hello, peeps, and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Welcome back to Grockle Bay, where we are currently running a small competition on my channel. Yes, indeed. If you、uh, would like to get your hands on one of these exclusive conventional rugs, then you've come to the right place.、Um, this rug was originally given away at、uh, TwitchCon 2018 attendees, but I now have ten to give away to my peeps.、Um, so during the next few episodes、uh, of the series, we shall. Play hide and Zeke.、Uh, this is Zeke, and he will be hiding somewhere in the episode, small and difficult to spot.、Uh, the first one to find him and follow the instructions in the description below will win their very own conventional cove rug.、Um, if you are watching far off into the future,、um, uh, uh, then it's it's probably gone. <laughs>、uh, but do check down in the description below. I will update just to to to、uh, keep everybody informed on whether the code is still available. Or not.、Um, so here we are, back in Grockle Bay.、Uh, we're still researching、um, cubism, the,、uh, the the treatment for cubism.、Uh, the queue is building up here again. Is there anybody that we could send away? Well, we could send you for treatment. Oh dear. Treatment failed. Oh dear.、Um, we could send、uh, the cubism patients、uh, away for the moment. You're looking a little bit. Ropey, aren't you?、Um, so we definitely need more room. I think that's what we're learning. Look, we're discovering new illnesses, inflated ego.、Um, I mean, we've seen all these illnesses before, but this is psychiatry. We have a psychiatry department. We successfully went 90 days without a death, only just because somebody just died.、Uh, we've also discovered jazz hands,、uh, which is ward treatment. We have a ward.、Um, Jasmine Odyssey、um, hasn't mentioned us since she left. Well, that's not a good sign, is it? And we're not ready for this fracture ward yet. We do need to expand, and I think、um, I'm going to buy、uh, this building here. It's a very odd building, uh, but uh, I streamed. Uh, my, the first time I ever played this level,、um, I did it on stream,、um, and what worked quite well here was actually starting the hospital here, having the、um, reception here with the GP offices, and then、uh, sending a flow around the hospital like this. It worked really well, so that's that's what we're going to do,、um, and then we used this building up here for for training and and, and stuff like that. So I think that's、uh, we will uh, continue uh, along that vein. So now it's going to use most of our money.、I'm、not sure if that's a, a terribly good idea, but we're going to do it anyway. Bye bye fountain. Quite like that fountain. It's a shame to say goodbye to it. Should put one in the reception here, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. It's quite a small area.、Um, let's say goodbye to the building.、Uh, I like this. But we're going to lose it. No. Oh, it's going. Flattening. Oh no! Epidemic warning. Itch joggers ripple.、Uh, a, a, a contagious disease has been detected in the hospital. Okay, so the CBCDC will reward us if they don't ha have to get involved. So it's been a long time since I've done a, a joggers、uh, ripple. It's characterised by involuntary bouts of stretching, cardiovascular exercise, and general health consciousness.、Uh, the disease spreads through a powerful and athletic sneeze.、Um, so first of all, let's. Let's have a look before this hospital gets too big. Now is the time, isn't it, to、uh, try and spot them? Go away, sir. Right.、Um, so currently six are infected. That's quite a lot. We're going to get our little syringe here. Right. He's infected, and we could see it by how quickly he was running. They're infected. They're walking really quickly. Oh, they are infected. This is a really aggressive one. I'd be surprised if if we do this. Sometimes it's just determined to not let you do these things. Ah,、uh, that's how it feels anyway. <laughs> that's totally how it feels. Right now they're about to sneeze and infect loads more. In fact, by the time we've seen it, it seems they've already done it, which is a little bit of a shame. But we know that a lot of the new ones will be originating from this area.、Uh, they seem to be one. Um, I'm thinking we should probably check our receptionist.、Um, you look like you're infected. That、uh, 
they just sneeze. I think we will take a risk on these ones. Yeah. You are infected. 14 uh, vaccines left. You're infected. It's cheating, isn't it, with all the, the constant pausing. But I just, it's a tricky one. Here's a tricky one. There's two left infected. Uh, you're one. Okay. Anybody else moving in that sort of real sprinty way? You. There we go. Boom! Contagious disease eradicated. We are going to be doing that a lot during this level. Um, although what we might do with the next one is try and find as many of the, the giveaway... Um, uh, telltale signs of the epidemic as possible I think that's what we do because you see this person I think they're stretching uh, I think they all oh, they were um, that's uh, a sign of it as well so yeah I think next time we'll let it spread and we'll just check out uh, how people uh, react when they've got the illness I think that could be fun um, and just take the hit I think that's what we'll do next time just so we can we can check them out uh, right so here it is here is our new building so we want to re move reception up to here uh, uh which always upsets people uh, somewhat doesn't it so what we'll do we are going to edit this room ahoy, ahoy, oh. my comrades and arts. they don't Some like this do they Bickleworth here once more filling your radio with charm and a discerning ear for truly exquisite music and we begin with this immortal classic. There. So pop that in. Um, and I think they're being sick into a bin there. That's charming. Pop them over here. Now, what we'll do, because we definitely need another GP's office. So we're going to pop that in here on the reverse. So we will build it um, uh, again. But uh, we're just going to copy it. On reverse uh, so that will only take a moment there we go yeah so all done right uh, so because we of course we did um, employ some more GPs um, so we can plop him in this one over here fantastic now um, we should also move reception which we're going to um, pop over here. Um, and while we're at it, we should also deal with this situation. There we go. Um, yeah, lovely. Okay. Excellent. Um, we should probably... Uh, copy the toilets and bring a set of those over here. Uh, we'll pop those there. And we should probably um, also have a staff room. Um, I'm not sure though. This is not really. I have to build a bit more, bit more of a custom, more of a custom one because uh, it's it's a little bit it's a little bit tight, isn't it? So I think what we'll do, um, get rid of this a minute, put the eating things here and we'll pop a door, okay, I'd like a, a door, oh, it's, it's over here, okay, I can only have one door, it's there, right, so uh, yeah, it's, it's getting a little warm in here, so we should have one of these, now, let me just want our living room space a little bit that we've got here. We have a, a situation unfolding. I think um, could this sofa be a little bit, a little bit big? I don't know. Uh, do you know what we might do? Put one of these in. I like this sofa. Please let me have it. <laughs> oh. Yay! There we go. And then we can have this here like this. This is all right. Excellent. Okay. Uh, now there isn't uh, any real place for any more entertainment type things. Uh, maybe we'll just try and stick this here. That looks a little bit weird, doesn't it? Maybe we'll put the lamp here and move this here. That might be all right. 
So I think I think we'll do that instead. And then that gives them a little staff room over here um, for them. Uh, I think I think that'll be okay. And then we've got room now to expand um, our GPs around here. We've got room to expand. And what we'll do, I think, is also see about getting a fountain in here when we've got the money. So, um, oh, now... I think over here, this is all the food and entertainment we have for the entire building at the moment. So we should probably leave this stuff here. Um, but what we could do with is putting this stuff and we'll, we'll, um, oh dear, they're being a bit unwell into that bin. And what we'll do is we'll unpause it now. Um, oops, we're supposed to be picking him up. There we go. Bob's drunk. Right. Um, yeah, so I think we should put separate separate ones over here. Um, except we've got no money now. <laughs> All the money went away. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Uh, promote three members of staff. Um, I don't actually know what's happening in that department anymore because I automate it. Um, you know, it gets automated. What we might... Do oh, sorry. I was thinking I might just take some of these bennies. Um, there we go. Just to get us started. Oh, look, we've got some money. So I'm going to pause it before it all drains away. I'm going to spend as much of it as possible before we go back into the red. Uh, let's see. We should be able to afford our little notice boards. There we go. So they've got somewhere to sit that's a little bit attractive. Always nice. But what we really need to do is get some snacks in. We can't We can't really afford too much. Um, we, we're not going to be able to do the entertainment because I'm going to... These are 2,000 each. I could only get one in. Oh my god. Okay, we're going to go cheap snacks. Cheap snacks, everybody. It's back to the burp. It's back to the burp and the cheesy gubbins. Although, to be honest, I would rather have a packet of cheesy gubbins over some jumbo nuts, um, to be honest with you. Make of that what you will. Uh, there we go. Uh, we might actually just take this space up a little bit nicer. We, so we might be able to afford at least one games cabinet just here. And I kind of like would like um, one of these. There we go. That's not too terrible. That's not too terrible. Okay. Um, so, Marcus here is uh, straining in the toilet right now. Uh, Marcus, I'm thinking we could probably send you for treatment. How do you feel about that? No? How do you feel about that? He's drying his hands. <laughs> He's drying his hands. Okay, off he goes. There you go. Absolutely, he's almost finished his um, research. Isn't that fantastic? Uh, Billy? Actually, we'll leave Billy in place because look at this. Mind you, we're not going to be able to afford the department now. I suppose we could see if there's anything else that we need researching. And if not, maybe get rid of it. I mean, I feel like researching one of the upgrades for this machine would be a good idea. Um same time think how much money is tied up in this room if we got rid of it we'd be able to do so much more it would be the best um, yeah although we could get rid of these that might help us i wonder how much this room will be we could always look at a fracture ward as well because we'll get this money back we could always look at a fracture ward now and um see about this emergency what is this emergency? six it's quite a lot isn't it but we could like quickly slam one in here maybe and pound them out and get rid of it again and that, that could work that could help us how's it going it's morris how's it going have you are you going on break oh he's going on break but it's so close <laughs> how could you how could you <laughs> can't believe it i've got a feeling the recovery room is something like four by five so it's a big room and it's a huge machine that goes in that room so i'm thinking it's an expensive room um yeah probably right probably shall we move oh look let me sort that ward out shall we move these 
Deserves to be turned into an amuse bush, if you ask me. An amuse bush. Great word. Right. What's going on in it? We have a nurse situation. Wow. Okay, now most most of these are actually diagnostics. So how many we only have the one ward nurse, right? Nurse? Let's see here. Just just one. Okay, could we can't hire another one because we have no money. But wouldn't it be great if we could get another one? I'm assuming that she's on break. Is it one? Is it one? That's not her. Where's the... Where is the nurse? Mandy. She's in the toilet. Okay, she's going to be on break for a while as well. Um, hmm. You really do need to, uh, I think, separate the ward. So we have a treatment and a diagnostic. So keeping it the same size just for the moment, but just making another one. Uh, separating those up, but then we definitely need, at very least, one more ward nurse. I mean, they're really, really expensive. I might be quite grumpy. I think we might grab them, even though they're not really ward material. I think desperate times call for desperate measures. So this diagnostic, there we go. Right. Now, uh, just thinking, where could, because maybe, maybe it could go here. Uh, if we were to, but I can't afford, we can't afford the room. Okay, well, at least right now she can deal with the ones that are in there. Um, and then maybe we could, for the moment, get them both working in here. Um, she can work through this backlog and get some help shortly while we try. Oh, I think now we can actually afford it, can we? I think 15. So if we popped it there, that would be all right, wouldn't it? If we move this fountain, um, actually, I think we'll leave this here. Leave that there. Put the snacks. Let's try and get the snacks machine. We don't really want to lose them, so I'm going to pop those here. And to offset the binny, we have a nice, beautiful fountain. There we go. Um, right there. Okay. Then, if we make this treatment and this diagnosis, there we go. Get a, a binny in. Can we afford yet? Yeah, we can afford our notice board. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah okay doing it peeps i mean i'm putting us more and more uh into the red as we go but that's fine don't need to worry about it and if it gets really bad we'll get a bank loan but we are i think ultimately making money um so it's it's all good it's all good we'll be fine but we are almost level eight now um which is a bit of a concern a bit of a concern uh, to be honest, should we have? Because uh, I'd like to do some training. Um, out of those janitors, they did both get their ghost training. Okay, good to know. Um, King Doki. Oh, look, there it is. Our researchers have designed a recovery unit ideal for uh, disem right? disassembling and recombobulating cubism patients. Recovery room. Right, so let's have a look. What have we got here? Because we could generate some research. We might do this. Oh, what's this? Oh, look. This is from... These are from um, the Bigfoot DLC. Look, film star and self-proclaimed writer and director Roderick Cushion has another script and he uh, and his invention team 
at Plump It Up Productions Limited just can't seem to finish. So now he's turning to science. If we can conduct some analysis and reconcile the script's plot holes, then they'll send us some money. Look, they'd send us 35 grand. And this one, look, cheesier gubbins. The makers of cheesy gubbins are looking to outsource some of their cutting edge culinary science and have asked if we'd be interested in working with them. They hope to make their famous gubbins even cheesier. Uh, so, uh, want us to analyze the constitu uh, const con const constitution oh my god of their recipe <laughs> uh, to see if the cheese density can be amplified further do you know we might we might look at these um just to generate uh, a bunch of cash so we'll, we will make him busy uh, fairly shortly, we'll wait for a little bit of uh, money. We don't need to take out a loan, shush you. Uh, we can um, do that work. I think that would be a pretty good, pretty good um, for helping. What we need to do is uh, get three grand in in the in the black, and then uh, and then we could could do it. That's what we need. Um, we could sell some of these. These are four grand each. So we could sell some of those. Um, we'll see. We might be able to do it without. Um, excellent. Got an interesting staff lineup, don't we? An interesting staff lineup. We're about to lose a load more money. So, what we might do is sell these. Because we're about to lose the money back because the end of the month's coming. So we'll do this and quickly get this going. Cheesier gubbins. We're going to help with that. There we go. Oh no. Where are you going? Where are you going? Go in there. In today's tech news, a Two Point County hospital has developed a treatment for cubism. Yeah. It's called a recovery unit and should bring relief to anyone who's feeling a bit too abstract. To anybody who's feeling a bit too abstract. Ah, oh, if only we could hire another assistant. <laughs> Although, I'm not going to be building the recovery unit anytime soon. She might as well go. Um, and you as well. Sorry. But it's, it is a thing. I like this bridge that they have to walk over. This is pretty cool. I like this. He's back. Diagnosis. He's back, everybody. He's back. We can now be seen to. Excellent. So, let's find out, shall we? Recovery unit. Here it is. Cures patients with cubism. Uh, so it's 35,000. So selling the research department would definitely do it. But also researching choose your gubbins would do it. So, oh no. Oh, what? Oh, Franklin. God damn it, Franklin. <laughs> why? Why you gotta do this? Why, Franklin? Why? How much are. Oh. The gold, oh, 500, 300, okay, I thought 500, that's, that's fine. I'm just thinking we could just start to up the attractiveness again. That's, oh, what is this now? <laughs> Bosworth, Periwinkle, <laughs> why? Why you do this? Why you gotta do this? Um, oh, here, look, we'll put a couple in here. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Um, I mean, a fountain here would smash it, shall we? While well, we've got the money, shall we? <laughs> Put in a fountain, should go nuts. Boom! No, that, one of these is fine. Put in. That's it. That'll get our attractiveness up. Excellent. Also helps with value, of course. Okay. Okay. We're, do we're doing all right. I mean, it's not amazing. I know, I know. Oh, we might make some money. What awards did we get? Open all. Not many. Best research hospital <laughs> and employer of the year. God damn it. It's not amazing, is it? Um, I wonder, shall we do this fracture ward business? Then again, I don't have decent nurses to deal with it. Class clown will work for peanuts. 
Ooh, poops. Um, can't afford to train you, actually. Uh, but I'm thinking I would love to train you. Um, what we'll do, we'll put them towards the ward for the moment. And then uh, we will up both of these so they can work in whichever one. Actually, let's have a look. There's no queue. No, all right. But they can work in either one like that. And then maybe we can get them trained in ward training. And then maybe look at uh, putting them in the fracture ward for this emergency. That might be okay. We've almost got 15,000 um, that would allow us to put them in for that ward training. We could also, nice I suppose, take one of these nurses. Probably shouldn't. Probably shouldn't. Training ward. The chosen place stack. The there we go. The yeah, 15,000. Gordon Nightingale. Okay. Uh, Francis. Sandals. Excellent. There we go. Uh, you might as well go for now. Actually, stay because you'll earn us some money going through the diagnostic process. <laughs> to be honest. Uh, yeah, okay. So he's on his way for training. Uh, and he'll be good, yeah, working towards um, doing this fracture emergency, which will also help uh, bring in a bunch of money so that we can build um, this cubism a department. And I'm wondering if we should buy this building next and put um, some treatment in it. Um, uh, she will probably will end up having some treatment here but then it's but there's no room here you know I feel like we need to move them out and how much is this oh this is the same amount oh, okay but then to go for treatment there'd be walking quite a long way we'd have to get another gp's office over here whereas here we could just put some treatment in it and we wouldn't need so much work yeah i think i think that's the direction that we'll go in um yeah ooh so we're getting a mixture here of okay okay so we could do with separating this up now doctor so short temper that's not great for a psychiatrist is it if we're being if we're being honest with ourselves it's not great so we need to get another psychiatrist. How tired are you? You're fairly tired as well. Uh, so it's not the best. Um, let's just check at the moment all of our staff. They're all okay. Right. That's that's good. That's good. Alrighty. And we are into level eight now. Oh, look, eight bitten. Got some eight bitten Aussie Ocean. Are these in a good order? Uh, oh, blood pudding. We might just get rid of you uh, for the moment. Pudding blood, rather. Um, shall we? Seventy percent might send you a treatment. Mix them up a little bit. Help break it down. What is this? Emperor Complex, that's fine. We are picking up the psychiatry ones, aren't we? Um, sure. We must be pretty close. Yeah, we're pretty close. Okay. Uh, oh, god damn it. The bills went out. <laughs> the bills went out. Oh, we were so close. Oh, look, it came in really quick. Yeah. <laughs> Watch them play darts. Maybe take a dart in the eye. Who knows? Uh, we could. Oh, we might be able to fit. A... Oh, hang on, another dartboard. What's the point of that then? Um... Should we put the. that in there yeah that works doesn't it alrighty should put in a little ah oh, yeah That's pretty amazing do you know what as well 
keep the hygiene up. There it is. We did it. Fracture ward is actually genuinely required now. <laughs> okay. It's actually gen gen genuinely required. And how much is one of those when it's at home? 13 grand. Hey! I think I know what we'll be building in the next episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button. As long as you are here, why not take your first step on the path to total coolness by supporting me via Patreon. The cooler you are, the harder I work, which means even more shizwa.